Hi, I'm Matt and in this video I'll be showing you how you can make your own fat shark batteries with the LED indicator. So, as we already know, fat shark batteries, while very, very good, are also very, very expensive. For example, over on Banggood, an official fat shark battery is the best part of $26, give or take a few cents. However, if we look at this little battery pack here, you'll see that we've got the same features, but this pack, this battery I bought from Hobby King for about $6, give or take a few cents, and using this little board, which I'll pop up on your screen, which costs all the whole of $2.69, you can make your own replacement fat shark batteries. So with that said, let's jump into the main part of this video and happy days. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to the mess of my desk. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the old cheap alternative to a fat shark battery. So uh, and what we're looking at is this little level indicator here. So let me just put this down on the bottom camera. And if I press that button, you'll see that all the LEDs light up. So when you click on there, and that means that when you're on the flight line and you're ragging the nuts, off your plane or your quadcopter, you can very quickly see what the status of your flight batteries are. Now the thing is, is that these fat shark batteries are being sold at a premium. They're really, really expensive. So what it was, a couple of days ago, I saw these little boards turn up on Banggood. Now links to these are in the video description below if you want them. But first, let's go and take a look at them. So mine actually arrived this morning. Oh no, actually it arrived on Wednesday and I've only just got around to making this video. And sorry, I'm recording it on a Saturday because it's raining outside, so no flying today, unfortunately. And uh, these little boards turn up. Now, now I bought one 3S board and one 2S board. But the thing is, is that there's no markings on the boards. And let me just put this down on the bottom camera so you can see this. And there you go, it's in focus now. Uh, there's no marking on this board to tell us that this one's a 3S one. And this one here, this brand new one in the bag, is a 2S one. Now, the one which I've got in my hand is actually for a 3S battery. Uh, and soldering in this up was super simple. There's two pads on the back. And let me just put this down on the bottom camera for you. Uh, and let me just focus in there. There's just two pads. So the top pad here, it is marked as B minus. Uh, and the bottom pad is marked as B plus. So there you've got negative, that's a black wire. And the positive, which would normally be your red wire. And then let me just show you, let me open up this new one here as well and I'll show you this too. Because these little boards are really cool because you could either have them as say uh, singly, so maybe you just stick a balance lead connector on the ends for example and then you could use it for any battery or any 2S, 3S, 4S or 5S battery or 1S for that matter. Or what you could do is that if you solder the wires on and then maybe you could just apply a little bit of foam or sticky back foam on the back of your battery. And let me just put this on the other camera for you to see, like so, and then connect that up to the balance lead. Uh, and then that means is that if you're using an alternative battery, say a uh, little Zippy 1000, for example, which is a 2S, is that you could then use this to power your Fat Shark goggles or any of your models, and then just quickly come in here and click the button. Now, with that said, I've been in pre-wired this one up and I didn't know which one it was for. So I didn't know if it was going to be a 2S or I didn't know if it was going to be a 3S one. So I started with a 2S. So let me just go and uh, plug this into the balance lead on a 2S for you. And you notice that I've already got the multimeter out here because there was a question in the back of my mind was that if I leave this continuously plugged in to my... Uh, battery will it drain it and there's actually there's some really surprising news once we go and connect this up uh, and see how many milliamps or micro amperes 
are actually being used. So let me plug this one into the minus plug and let me pop that one into the positive socket. There we go. So let me get into the bottom camera and let me go and click on that button. And did you see that? The 25% just flickered. So that's how I knew that the one I've got in my hands was actually meant for a free S battery. And I've got three different batteries here and I'm not entirely sure on their status. So I'm just gonna plug these in like so. Pop this on the screen so you can see it. There we go. I've pressed the button and you'll see that the 75% isn't actually showing which is a bit peculiar. Now, let me go and grab that and let me go and grab the actual real battery tester from my office and let me just go and put this in on a balance lead. Like, like I said, I've got no idea on the current. Hi, it's Matt here. Now I'm editing this video and this is known as the reviewer's curse. I dabbed that little LED either side with the solder and iron and would you believe it, it worked brilliantly. So it now works, it just needed a little bit of coaxing and like I said, that's known as the reviewer's curse. Let's get back to the video. And see what this one says. So gray was negative, so that's the black one. Pop that in the positive. Let's do this on the bottom camera so you can see it. There you go, it's showing 100% and then it will fade away. There we go. So for when it is 100%, it looks like the 75% one isn't actually being lit. So I don't know if that's a buggy board or that's just the way which they work. Now, this one must be the flat one, I think, because I had this on a slow stick a couple of days ago. So that one's showing as 33%. So this time around, and there, look, it's showing 50%. So while not to totally accurate, it does give us a pretty good representation of the current battery status. So if we go and grab that one, and I'm gonna use a 3S battery. Now obviously, if you're using fat charts, for example, then you would want to get yourself a replacement 2S battery and give you a heads up. These little zippy compact ones, I know they're only 1,000 milliamp hours. However, they cost me three pounds and that's three British pounds. I'll put the dollar price up on the bottom of the screen for you. So absolute peanuts compared to an official fat chart one. Now, what you could very simply do, and I use this one here as an, as an example, is that if you're a little bit creative, what you could do is that I've just got some double-sided back or double-sided uh, foam sticky tape, which I bought from the hardware store, uh, is that if you were to tape a little bit on the back of there, like so, and I'll put that on the main camera for you. And obviously you would then go and trim that up. So let me go and put that to one side. And then go and grab yourself some sellotape. And then on the side of the battery, you could then mount that, like so, on the side of your battery, and then connect that up. And if you hijack these wires, so if you trim back, uh, or maybe just interfere with these cables. So you, you've got two options. You can either strip back a little bit of the cable uh, and then solder directly on, or you could cut the cable, put solder in your new cable, uh, and then put some heat shrink tubing over the top of it. So what that means is that you can still use your balance lead for the, say, the fan on the top of your fat shark goggles, but not having to interrupt maybe your XT60 connector uh, and you can use it as you normally would do. Now with that said, what you could also do is put an XT60 connector on here. So uh, the female connector on the end of here, so you can check any of your 3S batteries or any of your 2S or whatever you've got these set up for. Personally, I'm gonna be using the, the, these two boards uh, number one is a backup battery for my sh fat shark goggles. So in a few moments, I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna put a little bit of foam tape on the back on there. I'm gonna hi hijack and piggyback these cables. Uh, and then that then means that I will have a backup battery for my fat sharks. Also in my other models, so I've got a slope sawer, which I keep a 1.3 milliampere 
sorry, a 1,300 milliamp fair battery, which I keep in there all the time, what I'll do is that I'll then just permanently fix that in there and then solder on one of these little balance um, connector leads, which you can buy for absolute peanuts. In fact, let me just zoom in on those so you can see the ones which I mean. Is that one there's a 2S, and you know it's a 2S because it's got three pins. You've always got one extra pin in them. Uh, and that one there is for a 3S battery, and you'll see again that we've got one extra pin in there. We've got four pins in there instead of just three, if that makes sense. And there's a big one there uh, for a 4S battery. So I'm going to go away and make one of these up. Obviously, I do need to change the connector uh, so that works correctly. Oh, and before I go, don't let me just don't let me forget to show you this. The actual current consumption on these is absolutely negligible. So let me go and pop that in the black one. And I've got a spare cable here on my desk, like so. And let's go and turn the multimeter on and crank around to milliamps on there. So where's our two leads? I'm gonna pop that on there. In fact, I don't want my fingers touching it just in, just in case I give you a false reading. So let me go and put that down there. And I'm, you may not be able to see this on the screen. So let me just pull those two down there and I'm, doing, I'm not touching either of the connectors. Now, if I press the button, you'll see that we're using 25 milliamps and then it goes down to zero. Let's move that around to micro amperes and you'll see currently that they're still connected in, in, in line with the power. And sorry, that was me touching the board. So if I now click that button, you'll see it's going open uh, circuit because it's uh, gone over the um, amount. And look, it's using no power or such a negligible amount of power is that if you've got any concerns about one of these boards like draining your battery over a period of time, uh, it's going to be measured in the scales of months rather than days or weeks. So, yeah, I'm going to go and knock one of these up so I've got a spare battery uh, for my fat sharks. And, yeah, I need to go and get myself one of those bullet connectors to go on the end. Uh, but that's dead easy. It's just a tiny bit of soldering. Uh, like I said, I'm going to wrap up now. What I would do at the end is just pop a couple of photos up on your screen so that you can see what I've been and done to one of my 2S batteries so that you can go and copy that because how much is a fat sharp battery? How much is one of these? Three quid. And one of these boards? Two quid. So when I'm on the flight line, I'm ragging the nuts out of a plane or a quadcopter. If I want to quickly check, I'll be able to come in here, click the button, and then I'll be able to see what's going on. And that is happy days, gentlemen. So for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, press the like button at the bottom. And any comments, suggestions, good, bad, or just plain ugly, please let me know in the comments section. So for myself, Matt, cheerios!